Welcome to Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI. Each week we talk to different experts and professionals on a wide range of subjects to give you tips and advice on living a happy and healthier life no matter what age you may be. This week on Aging Gracefully we talk to Alicia Curry, Dr. Anita Rothard and Jeremy Udell of Udell Associates. Author Alicia Curry returns this week to talk about posture and how it can affect aging. Hello. Hi, it's great to be back Thank again. Thank you, always <laughs> nice to see you. Yes. <laughs> nice to be here. Okay, so posture and aging younger. How does that go together? Wow, you know, when I was younger, I had a teacher in the third grade that, that always had us stand up straight and tall and, mm -hmm. and you know, lift your chest, lift your chin. And, mm -hmm. and, and so it's just something I've always tended to do. It was instilled in It you. was instilled in me as a young child. Mm -hmm. And also, as I was a flight attendant too, that was something when we did our training, they always taught you, you have to stand up straight and mm -hmm. tall and mm -hmm. be, you know, um, have a confident appearance. Okay. And so, posture has always been something that I've been very aware of for myself. Mm -hmm. And I notice as well that a lot of younger people, even when I was younger, tended not to even think about their posture. Right. Mm -hmm. But as you age, it really, it can take a toll on your body. Mm -hmm. So it, again, this is all about, you know, wh what can you do when you want to, you want to help your children or mm -hmm. your, your grown children or someone that you might know, um, you know, say, say something to them gently, you know, yes. about about posture. About posture. I mean, it starts, Definitely. like you said, in it school. It starts young. Or computers, you're mm -hmm. always bending over. Well, there are two things that I notice very, uh, that's very plain. Mm -hmm. Number one, young women who are tall. Mm -hmm. When they're tall and they, they develop um, at a young age, maybe they're taller than all the other kids in their class, yes. and they they start hunching over yep. because they're self-conscious. Yes. Another thing that makes you self-conscious as a young lady as mm -hmm, well mm -hmm. is as you grow up and if you develop your chest yes. faster. Yes. You know, that happened with me. Because people and stare. People stare yes. and so you don't want to sit up because then it's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so they tend to, again, arch their backs yep. a little bit yep. and be more self-conscious. Yep. Well, that posture mm -hmm. translates as you grow older very differently mm -hmm. so it, it makes you look less confident it makes you look like you're in a shell mm -hmm. you know it, it 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 doesn't give you you know that open chest right oxygenated yes. <laughs> confident and look. it's amazing an easy, easy thing to do would be to stand in front of a mirror stand in front of a mirror right? yes or you know what a lot of people on social media they videotape themselves videotape yourself walking I like that videotape yourself walking and you'll see. So that's see. a good tip, you have yes, some more Yes, or tip. have someone videotape you walking and you'll see if you're walking, you know, hunched over mm -hmm. or you're sitting like this. Mm -hmm. Another thing that, uh, especially now in this generation, is the tablets or yes. the iPhones or the, right. the, 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 let me not say iPhone, just phones in general, right. or the computer. We're always down, you know, your head down, looking down yeah. at it. Yeah. And that does not promote good posture, it actually uh, elongates these ligaments in the back of your neck mm -hmm. and so they're not strengthened mm -hmm. and they can't hold you up the way that they should mm -hmm. so it shortens these ligaments and it elongates Lines these those. ligaments and then your neck is not in the right attitude that it should be and it also you know it's not good for your spine right so all of those things tied together and again it, it's this repetitiveness that that you know everything ties in together yes uh, you know whether it's whether it's um, thoughts or physical action activities mm -hmm. you know you have to you have to keep doing something and be mindful of what you're doing whether That's it's the your key thoughts right there mindfulness or your be actions. aware of what yep. we're doing yep. because we're, we just move through life a lot of times and mm -hmm. we're not aware of certain things that mm -hmm. we're doing and posture is one of those things you're not aware of so exactly. if you're on your phone for any extended length of time mm -hmm. take a break if you're on your computer for a while take a break just sit up walk around for a few minutes Take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Let your, you know, let your head, your chin sit up. Mm -hmm. Raise your chest. 
let that oxygen flow. And that's it. That's one of the benefits. That's one of the benefits. That's one of the benefits of good posture. Mm -hmm. Oxygen flowing through your body mm -hmm. because you can take deeper breaths. Yeah. You know, you strengthen your core muscles. Mm -hmm. Those are the muscles that really help you stand up straight and tall. If yeah. you're not using those core muscles that you know your spine you get lower back pain and those things so mm -hmm. you want to engage your core as much as possible mm -hmm. and your posture helps engage that core those core muscles okay and and again how how do you suggest we prevent poor posture I mean what are some what some tips some some tips yes. again we talked about every 10 minutes just sitting up straight and tall taking a deep breath mm -hmm. another thing make sure your chin you know your chin is always up oh. don't you know, walk around with your chin down. Okay. Because Dr. Amy Cuddy, she, Amy Cuddy from Harvard, she did research on actually posture and what that means, and especially in the an animal kingdom and how it relates oh, to confidence. Sure. And people who have poor posture, they tend to invite more uh, low self-esteem, mm -hmm. depression, which is amazing that your posture can actually make mm -hmm. you depressed mm -hmm. if you're not walking upright yeah. so she did a lot of research into posture and how standing up straight and tall can change your confidence change change your mood mm -hmm. and your attitude mm -hmm. so you know those are just some things engage your core make sure you're always upright and they also help you know lift prevent sag Pre <laughs> you know it helps lift everything ladies <laughs> ladies <Yes. laughs> so you okay. always walk with good posture and that helps you look and feel younger because okay. when you you can um, you know breathe deep and bring life into your, your body, body you yep. feel good about yourself yep. so important yes. such a simple thing again it's but so simple so important and Again, thank you so much for your sharing your wisdom with us oh, today. Thank you. Please stay tuned. Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI will return after a short break.